guys, my name is Prentai and welcome back to another video. Now hopefully this is either going to be the last video or the second last video in this ghetto ass setup with the bikes and everything. I want to start it tonight. It might be after I recorded the video for Saturday, but we'll see. I definitely want to get it sorted. So if I do the 12 drinks of Christmas starting on Boxing Day, it's not as shit or not as ghetto uppy as this. But that being said, today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, is Beer Glass Science. Now, it sounds boring as shit, but trust me, there's more to a beer glass than just a vessel to hold beer in. Like, I know, shock horror, right? And that's why I've got two different glasses to kind of show you the difference between like what beer glass or beer companies are working towards in terms of beer glasses nowadays versus what they were like four or five years ago. Now this is one from Eden Brewery when they first started making beer and it's just a standard pint tumbler. This one is from Innocent Gun. This one I got a week ago. It's hardly been used and it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a big, a pint glass of a schooner essentially. A schooner's two thousand pint which usually come in this shape. But yeah, that is the two different pint glasses I'm using. Now, the difference between them, or one of the main only differences between them, apart from the fact that this is brand new and clean, and this one has not been cleaned properly, is that on the bottom, there's etching on the bottom of this one, whereas this one, there's no etching. And you'll see how much the difference it makes when you pour a pint. So obviously, I'm not pouring it from a tap, I happen to pour it from a bottle, but it should still have the same effect. So I'm gonna pour both these pints, and I'm purposely pouring the Innocent Gun first, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, definitely not the best pint I've poured in my life, but look how active and how lively that pint is versus, right, when I pour this one. There we go, I'll get a close up so you guys can see this. So as you guys can see, look, this is the ones that I've just poured. Obviously I poured this one first, and then I poured this one. Look how dead that looks, right? Compared to this, look at the retention or the bubbles, look how much gas is coming off essentially this pint here. And look, the head's still there, it's actually increased in size of the head and that one's completely disappeared. And I'll talk about why that is just in a sec. Now first off, I want to point out it's nothing to do with Innocent Gun have a great glass and even Brewery have a shit glass. As I stated at the start, this is a glass from five years ago, this is a new age glass. This is kind of what the technology people who make beer glasses are working on. And there's a thing, as I've mentioned, called head retention, which is essentially when you retain the head on a pint, which is obviously the foamy bit. This one's completely gone, it's been about a minute. This one is still there, and it's been about maybe two minutes. And that's the whole point on the etching on the bottom of the glass, as well as the style of the glass. That's why you'll see a lot more pint glasses in this style these days. They can put a small amount of etching on the bottom, and it's gonna release those bubbles. It's called microformation and it basically retains a head so that when you're drinking the whole pint, it stays refreshing the whole way through, as opposed to like, that looks like shit, right? If you got handed two pints right now, which one would you pick? You're always gonna pick this one. I could have poured this maybe 10 minutes ago and it still looked like that. That could be a fresh pour and it's gonna look like that. That's the whole point of beer glass technology. That's what I'm trying to get at. So it definitely makes a difference to like, not only visual, but also like, taste as well so you may think oh look it just looks better trust me if you're to drink them i could i'll leave these for half an hour this will be flat this one would still have its head now obviously i can't prove that to you guys but we're gonna go away and we'll come back okay so i left them for 15 minutes but look as you can see this one is still retaining its head and this one here is completely fat i know it sounds boring and it's like something you shouldn't really think about but the amount of money that's been put into like beer glass research and technology so that pint can stay a pint is incredible. I think it's great. Best thing about that is I've left this pint and I can now drink it. Mmm. Still refreshing. Still great taste. This one here. It's a wee bit bubbly, but it just tastes slightly flat. Anyway guys, hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please drop a like rating. It'd be much you and really appreciate If you guys are new already as well, please make sure you hit subscribe. If you found this fascinating and you want to know more things like this, please make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to check any of my social media, links to them will be in the description. On that guys, until next time, I've been the Prentai and I'll see you in the next one. One thing I want to point out, I've been drinking this, right? Look, the head is still retained. It's beautiful. Mmm.